Sharon, did you just start recording? I believe you have had a uh, attendee join. Yeah, let me take a look. Uh, well, we can just let's just finish up this discussion and then we can ask them. Um, Sharon, I did have a question based on one of the responses, and it was sorry, sorry, Raphael, I'm focusing in on those responses, mm -hmm. but there was something about disability accommodation and computers with touch screen, touch pad, and I'm wondering how much of that would be a focus with the new building or like with the technology in the new building? Um, I don't have an answer for that quite yet. Okay. I So I feel like staff are yeah. still up here mm -hmm. and, and there's going to be a, a trickle down as far as funding goes um, because we will be spending the construction project funds, but we also have JCPC funds for technology. And, and so whatever is used up during the construction project, then we have to go into the JCPC funds. So I don't know what will be left after that. So okay. there's a complicated explanation for why I don't know yet. Okay. All right. But that's, it's an important, like that response that is, is important. Yeah. yeah especially with all the ADA compliance and all those other things we've been talking about. All right. Um, is there anything else we want? Do we want to speak to the survey anymore? Any more thoughts, Melissa? I just was wondering, as people were reading the responses, if we had any thoughts about like, oh, that's different from what we thought we would get in relation to this question, or if anything you know, felt like it like was not really what we were going for. Or like, I was, again, I was like really pleased that the initial responses were so affirming, but almost kind of wanted to like lead, lead a little bit more like, no, really tell us what you think about us, you know? Like, <laughs> so it just was wondering if anyone was kind of like thinking about the questions themselves as they were reading the responses. Mm -hmm. There, there were a couple, and again, this is like the outlier thing, um, people who responded in terms of, you know, other people don't feel comfortable at the library. And I think we had talked about um, asking people to make I statements, but didn't ultimately ask them to make I statements. Um, so that was interesting that the people, some of the people did that. And um, I kind of wish that we instructed them a little differently, but they probably still would have answered that way, right? Who yeah. I think, I think also, like, I can speak a little bit. I know you guys were talking about, like, there were some uh, people who said, like, liberal and close-minded, which is contrary, but I think what they're getting at is, like, and it kind of goes back to, I feel like, the grab in that, like, PowerPoint on the meeting notes of, like, the distribution of our collections. And as you can see, there are a ton more LGBTQ plus books rather than any other category. So I think, and they kind of go into the next agenda item of a collection that when we're like reviving collections and stuff that yet that community of people is incredibly important but like there are so many other communities that aren't represented very well like i know like physical and mental disability they pretty far down on that chart so i think it's really important to try to like focus on, and I know that it's kind of impossible, but focus on everyone. Like I saw one, there was a bunch about like 
they're all in another like but relating to conservative people. And like that is a group of people in Amherst and they should also be recognized if we want to be truly inclusive. Mia, were you going to say something? No. Rafael? And perhaps when we connect in person, we'll talk more about that. But that liberals aren't concerned, aren't open. Discussion happens in many places. Um, so more to come. Um, I think, Walter, your point about conservatives coming to the library. I think lots of ed spaces, libraries in this area, just there's a lot of there's a lot to consider with, with what that means if people are pushing back against other folks who are coming to the library. Um, so I, I know where I'm at at the university that I'm at, it's, it's attention. Can you come to a classroom and say this about another group of people? Um, what does that mean? Um, how do you deal with those individuals? So so that's here too in Amherst. Yeah. I was- yeah. Especially in Amherst. Yeah, 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 no doubt. I was going to offer that I can also send as a follow-up, maybe not as part of the meeting minutes, but one of my um, coworkers at the library recently shared the ALA survey about mm -hmm. how Gen Z and millennials are using the library. And it was one of the things that was most interesting to me was how many people do not self-identify as readers, but are still visiting the library at a higher rate than other generations. And I just thought like that was like the kind of data that I was like, oh, well, that mm -hmm. means that there's something else that people are finding here and there's something that's being done right to bring people in. Um, and and I'll try and keep an eye out for other things like that that kind of will give our survey results maybe some context in a more like national way. Um, but it was nice just to kind of like see, you know, that survey happened on a level that's totally different from ours. But I appreciated what I was able to take out of those results. And maybe that'll even help us thinking what we're hoping we're going to be able to extrapolate from our results. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mia, yeah. and thank you. Sorry, Raphael, go ahead. Just quickly, what's the plan for trying to get more surveys? What did we, how, where did we end? I, I think we said that we were, for now, we were going to continue. Mm -hmm. And then Mia was, Mia was just gonna give us, collate what we have so far. Mm -hmm. But to Ginny's point that we would push it again while the library is in transition. So hope, hoping that it'll be interesting to see if people are going to the website. So that would help. And then I guess, so we're looking like a few, two or three months down is at which point I think we want to meet. Yeah, Unless and we put, want our, to... our push it again means what specifically? Sorry? Our push it again? Like, what does that mean? Meaning send out the survey again once the library is in the interim location to see if mm -hmm. people are paying attention and if they're going to be responding to okay. see if we get any more responses. And then... <laughs> go, You go ahead. I'm sorry. And then maybe we say... So what is this? We're in January, February, March. Maybe we say around April, like like maybe make it a cutoff like April or May. And then we try to meet once we have this collated information. Okay. Does that make sense? It, it makes sense. Uh, yeah. I, I was wondering, and I don't know if people have the capacity, the sending out again is just one way to push. There are other things we could do. Like, I'm looking at the clock though. I'm not sure we have yeah. time, but there are other ways that we could push. I'm just and, putting it in. It, um, Sharon, would it be okay if we had Raphael just send us an email, or would we uh, should we bring it up at the next meeting? Uh, uh, what what do you mean? Yes, Raphael can send us emails. Absolutely, <laughs> if, if that's okay I, with you, I, I could send I, an email. But but remember, my idea, and it's just one, is maybe a few of us here could do some in-person sort of push, show up at the library, you have some surveys, talk about why we should do this, why folks should do this survey. There are other ways though. So I don't know if other folks have other ideas. 
or we could just say, you know, we'll just send it out again. Um, so I'm not pushing for additional things. I'm just saying for us to consider. I like what you're saying, but does that like to to go back to Melissa's point? Does that like if I send tell ten of my friends, I kind of know how they are going. I feel like I would know how a lot of them would fill the fill in that survey. Are you saying going outside our community? Oh, yeah. So so okay. not only share with 10 of your friends and i think those friends matter yeah you know we think we know what they might share i'm saying like we show up in the library saturday morning okay here's the survey we only have this amount collect we want to hear your voice so they see members of this community they hear about the work this committee they hear about the work that we're doing but that's just one sort of proposed option you don't have to accept it so it's not necessarily your friends it's just we're tabling, we're sharing. Yeah. I like that, Walter. My only issue that we would come into with that is if we we're in the library, we're probably going to get a positive or the bond if we we're surveying, surveying people who are coming into the library. I, I just think, like, I just think, Walter, like making these assumptions about what we will get. It is tricky. Um, I don't know. And I don't think we can't at this point, like we have an approach to gather as many surveys as possible. Yeah. But to put like, I think this, or um, we, I don't think we should do that at this point. I think we collect what we collect. I, I wonder also if, if being um, more proactive with the quarter page flyer with the QR code in other locations and events around town. Um, so in addition to it going, still being up on the flyer in the library, in addition to it being still on the website and regularly in the This Week at the Jones email, it's also on the quarter piece flyer in the bid and chamber office. It's also at the each of the elementary schools in the front office. It's also at the senior center. It's also on the college campuses. Um, and maybe some of those places are also, in addition to let's show up on Saturday morning when there's a craft project happening or on Wednesday afternoon when thing with your baby is happening and asking those parents to fill it out. Um, you know, are, are we going to some of these other places, a middle school chorus concert or whatever to, to collect or sports games? Um, to collect some of this also. That's what I, it's a lot of work in the winter when we're a, a small group of people with lots on our plates. Um, but at a minimum, if we had those flyers in those locations, um, we're reaching people who don't come in to 43 Amity Street. So it's both and in my mind. I yeah. think also, that's a good, I, I, we need to wrap up because I know a few people have to go and we <clears> haven't allowed, we haven't, I haven't asked about public comment again, but Mia, if you want to really quick. Yes, just one more question about sort of the language around this push. I feel like it would be great to resend the survey to the schools, even sending it out through a newsletter, but um, to be able to share, like we've gotten 50 responses. If you've already responded to the survey, thank you, maybe like share it with someone else, but I just want to make sure we're not recollecting responses from people who are like oh i you know i think i filled this out but i'll fill it out again or just something that right. can kind of help yep. um broaden that and also not just like you know like because we're catching someone three months later maybe they've forgotten that they filled it out and give us the same answers so um i can try and work on just like crafting a little blurb like that at least for our newsletter our newsletter is the easiest one to access and the one that we can you know sort of get out the most but then try to get it out through the schools as well um and I'll look back at the other places that we sent it because even as we were talking I think I forgot that we'd passed it along to the Amherst Survival Center I'm not sure if it was distributed um but just to remember all the outlets that we already looked at and getting them out to those same places in addition to other places so can we just thank you Mia should we just say that we will have a further discussion of this at our next meeting which is on the 16th, is that correct, Sharon, of February? As long and as that works for you all. I'm just wondering, does this time work for people or should we go back to the 1.30? It works for me, but- This, I just... this is actually, this is preferable for me. 
Actually, okay. yeah. Everyone, Walter? Could we possibly do 1130? I know that type, but yeah, I did have a class at that end at 11, so I wouldn't be able to join right away. Would 1130 work for people? Works for yeah. me. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, thank you all. Um, I know there's one member of the public and if you are in, if you have if you would like to make a comment or ask a question, we have a couple of minutes left. Yes, no. No. Okay. Um Thank you all. We didn't get to, so we have one more thing on our agenda, but I'm sure we can discuss that next next month. So 11.30, February 16th. Thank you, Ginny. Uh, can I um, raise something that I would like to put on the February agenda? Mm -hmm. uh, one of the pieces coming up with the renovation and expansion is signage and wayfinding in the new library. Um, and it's super complex in a lot of different ways. But one of the pieces of feedback I'd love to get is from the public of what words matter to them for helping to find something. Um, Sharon and I had a bit of a discussion about that okay. and we can talk about that later. Okay, yeah, I, was just gonna, I don't think it, I, it's urgent, but- um, Yeah, we didn't want to put it on- to our, our we, mission here. We didn't want to kick it to a committee there's a okay. survey going on right now. So, okay. okay. Thank you. All. Thank you all. Thank Bye. you. See you. See you. Sharon, can we have a quick chat or? Yeah. Um. Uh, no, I have to. Okay. End. Okay. All right, I will email you. Thank okay. you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.